Hi, this is Tony from Cooking Around. Today we're going to make a real special treat, especially for my girlfriend because she's a vegetarian. We're making vegetarian lasagna. And the way I like to do it is with lots of vegetables, zucchini, and with spinach. A nice wholesome, wholesome food, even with parsley I like to put it in too. And I like to use three cheeses. I like, of course, your basic uh, mozzarella. Uh, there's this Polish cheese here, which it tastes like uh, kind of like the Gouda. I don't know what the name of it, but it's very, very good. And of course, the cottage cheese. And I will be using my homemade tomato sauce, which you can find on my other video. So, I'm really excited with this one. Well, let's get started. And we have our fry pan here on medium high. We take some olive oil, and I put in what? About two to three tablespoons. I'm using extra virgin olive oil. And we take basically one onion, throw it in, and when that onion is starting to fry, guess what? It's ready. And now we take one medium chopped onion and we put that in. Put it all around, get the oil all around. And now about one and a half uh, carrots, medium size cube. And now we let that go here I say for about three minutes. Now I add half uh, bell red sweet pepper and a little bit of yellow that I had left over just to give it some color. And we'll let that go for two or three minutes. And now we add and we add a tablespoon of salt. And now we add one medium sized cubed zucchini. And we put that in there. And we add about one quarter cup of butter. And we wait for that to melt. And we stir that all around. Lower the heat just a little bit. Put your top on. And let that stay for about 10 minutes. And now, I have here about one large package of zucchini that was frozen. And I thawed it out. And I removed as much of the water content as possible. It's important to drain it very, very well. It has to be very well drained. And we take that zucchini and we put that into our food process. And we take one package of cottage cheese. This is the Polish type cottage cheese here. It's about 250 grams. You can add more or you can add less, depending on what you want. But I have to admit, the Poles really, really know how to mix the nice cottage cheese. It smells absolutely, absolutely delicious. And we put that in. Just break that up and put that inside there. And now we take some salt, but I just add a little bit for seasoning, not too much. So I added half a teaspoon of salt and I take this in the thing and we mix it all up. Okay. And that is exactly what we want. And this is basically ready now. Look how that's turning out. Oh, the aroma. Now we add our famous fresh ground pepper. Roughly chopped parsley. That's the way I like it. Roughly chopped like this. And now what do I do? Is I take my homemade tomato sauce, which I made. You can check it out on my other recipe, and I pour all that into here. And I stir that around. And this will be our basic vegetable sauce. Now you can add more sauce or less sauce, whatever makes you happy. Now, how does that look? And here we are. I have a lasagna dish. Mm -hmm. And now what I'm going to do is 
I have my sauce mixture here. I take my handy dandy spoon and I take one section of that. We're going to try to keep it all even as much as possible and we spread it all the way around. Now it doesn't have to be that thick and it doesn't have to be perfect. If you've got a couple little holes so I'll just fill them up like that. And we have our lasagna here and we just pour our lasagna there. One, two and three. And now we take of the spinach and we spread that all around. Try to make it as thin as possible, but don't worry if it doesn't turn out to be perfect. And there we have the first mixture. Yeah, we take this cheese here and we just fold it all the way around. How is that starting to look here? Doesn't that look absolutely awesome? Now what I do here is we put some mozzarella cheese. Now this mozzarella cheese is very, very soft here in Poland, so it's very hard to work with. I'm still looking for the hard type. And I put that mixture in there like this. A little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit everywhere. Now, and now we take some more lasagna pieces and we add them there. Don't worry about it. It will spread out as it cooks. And we take, of course, this delicious sauce and we spread it around. Now I'm making basically a two and a half layers, if you want to call them. But you know, you can go up as high as you want. I put three more pieces in. This is the way I like to do it. Remember what I said, Luigi doesn't like it. You don't have to do it. And we put this mixture back in again. Now somebody out there is saying, well, you know, that's not the way I do it. Well, then, you know, you shouldn't be watching my channel. Then. And you spread that all around evenly as much as possible. This is going to be so awesome. And now we take some of this cheese and we spread that all the way around. Just look at that. Oh my God. Oh my God, look at this. And there it is for now. Now we take the rest of the mozzarella cheese, which I leave more for the top. Okay, so basically that's it there. And now what I do, what I like to do, is take some foil wrap, place it on top of there. I don't push the bottom in, I try to keep it fluffy up in the air like that because as the cheese starts to melt, I don't want it to stick. Just move it like that. And this will go into the oven for anywhere from 50 minutes to one hour at 325. And what I will do is on the last uh, 10 minutes of cooking, I will take the foil wrap off. So the oven is preheated, it's up to 325 right now. I'm using 325 because it's a gas stove. Now, I take my handy dandy chicken and I'm going to sit that for exactly... Uh, let's put it to 40 minutes and then I'm going to remove the foil wrap. So, there's the chicken just waiting to cluck. And here we go. Let's take it out of the oven. The chicken has called. The chicken has spoken. All right, now, there it is there. And now what do we do? So I take the top off. Now, it goes back into the oven for 15, 20 minutes without the top on. How does that look? And we take our handy dandy chicken and we set it for 15 minutes. And the chicken is now watching you. And there it is. Let's get her out. Look, 
at that. See how that looks. Babies, yeah. come here and take a look at this. Take a look at the vegetarian lasagna. Tell me, how does that look? Ah. Huh? Looks good. Looks good. So you're going to have to marry me the way I cook now, right? Oh my god. You're going to marry me now? I don't have choice, man. You guys have to give me some comments and tell her to marry me, okay? So, there it is. Now what we do is I always let it sit for half an hour to 40 minutes. If you don't, what happens is when you cut it, the juices go everywhere. And here I am again with the world famous taste test. Here's our lasagna, perfectly done. Lots of mozzarella on top. So, I can't wait to try this. And here we go. My girlfriend is already eating. She could not wait, so I had to serve her first. So, let's give it a try. Mmm, how does that look? Absolutely delicious. Here we go. Mmm. You know, that is really, really good. I also like meat lasagna too, but this is just absolutely awesome. I have to try one more bite. Mmm. 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 And with the homemade spaghetti sauce, which is on another video there, or you'll probably see a link down there for it. It is absolutely 100% awesome. Now, all I can say is I take my wine to you guys and I want to say thank you very much for being with me. Thank you very much for uh, watching this video. And from uh, Kasia and myself, I want to say hello from Poland, goodbye from Poland, and Nazdrowia. And I really want to see you guys on my next cooking recipe. And please don't forget to sell. Thank you very much and a toast to you guys.